Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review of Thor issue 21. And this is a pretty epic kind of issue, because we get the confrontation between Thor and Mjolnir. And this is pretty much just a lot of action. This issue is just, granted, we do get talking and everything going on, but we get a lot of crazy ass action to see how Mjolnir deals with Thor and how Thor deals with Mjolnir and the surprising revelation that we get at the end. Now granted they do foreshadow something like this in the beginning of the issue and I think it's pretty well done in my opinion. So we start off and we see this monologue of like yeah there's always so much darkness that you can throw into the sun before the star turns black and if you think about it the Marvel Universe has thrown a ton of fucking shit into the sun to try and kill it or keep it in there so that way we don't have to fucking deal with it. So, yes, this brings up a very important and salient point of there's probably a lot of shit in there. And then it kind of talks about how the well's been poisoned and tainted, kind of infected with that. And that there's something kind of waiting and growing in there, but that the story that we've got isn't about that thing at, the, at this point. But we'll kind of see that tale when it's told. And... We get freaking, uh, like, look at that. Mjolnir's just like, fuck you. And just bashes Thor through all these kind of things as he's then put into kind of a lake as it's kind of like making him sink down so he utilizes the lightning to kind of burn off the lake. And Mjolnir's kind of like, oh, that's a really kind of grown-up tactic. It's kind of cool. You were never much of a thinker, though, were you? And Thor's trying to figure out what's going on here. And... She's like, I mean, like, we've been together so long. I went over with Jane and everything, hoping you weren't jealous of that. And Thor's like, just get to the point. Like, no, granted, he, in his own kind of way, it's like, what are you talking about? And she's talking about, like, yeah, speeches and parliaments and all that kind of shit. And that she's bored of it all. And then Thor's like, yeah, I'm bored of this shit, too. And then calls forth um, uh, a lightning sword. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, he made a sword out of lightning. It's even cooler than I thought. Yeah. Uh, so he called forth that. And then Mjolnir's like, yeah, I got this shit. And he, uh, they're doing their whole kind of thing before Mjolnir fucking, I mean, look at this. Like, destroys his arm. It's that there's nothing that Mjolnir can't break. And it's like, holy shit. And... Milner's like, yeah, I've seen you. I've known all the things that you've done. I know how to break you. I know your weaknesses. And you just not have to know how to break someone. And then, out of nowhere, Odin pops up and saves him. And, like, well, team effort-wise, is like, uh, let's kind of end this. And they utilize Sif to teleport Mjolnir to his craziest looking place, the farthest place from here. So hopefully we kind of learn about this place because its design's really cool to me. Now, granted, I understand that's not important to the plot at this point. Thor is trying to figure out what's going on with Mjolnir as Mjolnir is like, yeah, screw you. I I don't like all the talking. We see it kind of slowly revealed even throughout their fighting and their fighting styles. Mjolnir bashing and smashing and not giving a shit. Whereas Thor's trying to kind of be as more tactical and everything. And Odin's kind of just like, what the hell's going on? Mjolnir's brought to life. Of course, Odin's bringing up that the dwarves sacrificed their souls and their lives so that the, their souls would be in the hammer itself. And Odin's like, I did not get what was going on here. And then the thing is, Mjolnir's coming back in hot, as we see. And he knows it's coming for his son, and Odin takes the hit. And it cracks his back. And he's like, he can't feel his legs. And... Mjolnir's gloating that you're like oh yeah there you go it hurts doesn't it to lose to be left alone and um Thor's like why are you doing this and then he's like none of you understood bringing up the whole bit of being worthy and everything and bringing up that a hammer is just used to kind of like smash and destroy and then all that stuff with the crowns and the speeches and all that that's not to it it's like I'm just growing tired of you and it's like yeah that's uh I gotta get that and it kind of winds up up with certain things now granted this is just this kind of story arc there could be other ones of 
actually going with it. But with this interpretation, it does make sense why Mjolnir would be kind of wanting to be more destructive and everything. And then she brings up the kind of thing that, like, Jane threw into the sun and just let me burn, and that she wasn't alone in the sun. There was something else powerful, and they kind of binded together. And it's like, ah, shit. You know what Jane threw into the sun with the hammer? Mangog. And then he's like, they were remade as one, and it's like, oh shit, yeah, the sun would be a perfect kind of place to, like, reforge Mjolnir. But all the shit that we put in there, it binded it together, and he's like, no, and then with the rage of a billion billion beans, with the rage of Mangog, we see that that is fused together, and that definitely presents a big fucking problem of what to kind of do. Uh, because, like, I didn't know exactly where they were going to go with the God of Hammers. I'm like, this was a really kind of cool kind of thing because it, it makes sense. It takes stories and stuff that we've already seen before and brings out consequences that produce more kind of stories. It's like the Mangogs in there. They reforge Mjolnir in there. Uh, wouldn't the Mother Storm be kind of pissed off and then if it's able to kind of like get together with the Mangog and that's all at, together in the hammer, we got a big fucking issue. And putting together the eons that the uh, Mother Storm has been within Mjolnir and all the kind of tactics that it can utilize without any kind of restraint. Like, the enchantment that Odin put on worked pretty well to probably have a kind of worthiness kind of thing. Though, granted, I think that the hammer smashing and destroying does kind of work into its effect of why it would more go for a champion of Asgard rather than staying with a king of Asgard to actively be kind of used. Though there's other kind of stories that have also brought up that like a hammer can also be used to create things as we see Thor helping out a uh, uh, town and there's specifically a church that had been like destroyed in a hurricane or whatnot. So there's a lot of different things that a hammer can be used for, but it makes sense with this being one of the driving motivations of uh, this rage and everything going on with the Mangog Mjolnir thing going on. So that was a big thing that I was not expecting and I really liked how they were able to effectively utilize the story with it mainly being action but still laying forth foundations as Mjolnir kept hitting hammer throws on Thor both physically and mentally by being like I know all of your weaknesses I can break you I hate you doing all this kind of talks and speeches and everything and diplomacy and I'm bored of you and yeah I like kind of going around and sewing my wall notes and going around with Jane as well but she threw me into the sun and you reforged me into that sun and there was things in there and it was pissed off and I'm pissed off and here we are my friend and it's just kind of crazy I'm like holy shit how are they going to have, like work through this this is a big kind of problem are they going to be able to destroy Mjolnir to reforge it uh, so that way it can be used for good uh, would they even try and do that kind of thing again or would uh, what's Thor going to kind of do with this? Because a lot of things are going nutty with what Mjolnir's been doing, going through the realms and breaking things with hammers and everything like that. And It's a really interesting story that I don't really uh, know where it's going to be going, but I'm excited to kind of see where it will go. And I do hope that we do have somebody deal with, hey, we've thrown a lot of shit into the sun and let's, uh, there could be uh, something that pops up out of that kind of thing. I'm like, yeah, that, uh, that would be an interesting story. So uh, I hope that pops up somewhere in some kind of like event or whatnot as well. It's like, yeah, that's just an interesting thing there. So those are my opinions on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.